strikers in this division sprawl and brawl whatever you want to say he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight it does not matter how he accomplishes it all he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab staying away from the grappling exchanges you don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance he has great distance management which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks spinning back kick jumping high kick so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight yeah if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight so, most people so, believe yeah his opponent is in a so, world JK. of trouble well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem Abdul-Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once. I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. More than a decade separates these two fighters when it comes to the age, with some differences in height and a similar reach. The veteran voice of the Ladies Octagon and first book. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 175 pounds. Fighting out of New Orleans, Louisiana, USA, Hercules. And now, he's his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? You ready? All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He's able to slip the left. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Such a fast leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Left hand punch from the clinch. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. These guys throwing early. Nice one, two there. Well, he absorbs a kick to the head here, left it wide open. He's got to not move into that power shot. Let's see if he can adjust. 
Nice shot to the body there. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Very tricky when he throws that body. He is all about that left kick to the body. Devastated body to land. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Over and over, he lands these big body kicks. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with a the punch there. Accuracy at its best. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with beating. Jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws his punch. Oh, outstanding knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow it up. Certainly using his length well in this one tonight. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lou. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Both guys really throwing with authority. And they separate. Oh, nice right hand. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Caught that kick there. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Punch over the top. Outstanding in the body there. He's the taller fighter. Might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, Superman punch. Not always easy to execute. He did show there. Went for the inside leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Uppercut his block. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, another strike lands to the liver here. He buckled him with that exact shot earlier in the fight, and he feels like he can still target that area to great effect. All right, 20 seconds to go in the round. Superman punch lands. He's throwing every part of himself. It's hitting big leg kicks. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Great number strikes. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. Yeah, two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw in round number one. And he landed the right hand there. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this? The next with a right. Looking to land the right just out of range.
big kick land. Relax, relax. Keep your hands up. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Side. Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. We're going at it now. It landed some nasty strikes. Jab hurt him a little bit. That one landed clean. Lee's kick blocked. All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come to me without a combo. I want the <laughs> whole platter. Give him the whole platter, young man. Put some punches together. Make this guy take the whole thing. Give him more than one strike. You have now found a set of punch. The jab is landing consistently. Find something that's going to go behind it. Nice punch there by Lee. Head kick. Oh, and he counters with a straight left. That landed flush. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Missed with that attempt. That kick blocked by Lee. He's really starting to land a high number of strikes. Oh! He's stopped. Oh! Huge right hand! Back to the feet! Oh, he missed with that right hand. Right up the elbow for the body kick land. And there comes the separation now. Unable to connect with the right. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. Real nice body kick land. Oh, he connects there. Able to check that kick as well. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful, though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. Lee's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. He's been busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, and he's back up again. Those get-ups have been there for him all night. Beautiful strike. Well, he has stayed busy, and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity, and the hands look phenomenal tonight. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Ten seconds. Oh, single collar tie here. Big head kick lands. So a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well. But when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal. And if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. 
All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Big punch land. Ooh. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He loaded up there on that high kick. He got it. Oh, big left hook there. Went for the inside leg kick. Good spin. Liver kick. Oh! Oh! He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. Well-placed kick there by Liv. Oh! Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. He gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Big leg kick land. Oh! A huge strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up with him. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, big left. Three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's going to stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away, to try to escape his very, very deep. And just like that, the fight is over. He got him. Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliotta has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 33 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Hercules! Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.